decide where you'd like to start first. Let's start with where I would start first. I know that this is 140 degrees. That's a one. If this is 140 degrees, therefore that must be 40. Agree? Angles on a straight line add up to 180. And as you're going al along naming them, you can write them as reasons. I'm going to say angle O1 is equal to 40 degrees. Whether I use it or whether I don't use it, it's immaterial. But the more information I have on my diagram, the easier it's going to be for me to, to get my unknown values. So, O1 is equal to 40 degrees. And why did we say that? Adjacent supplementary. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. I also identify that I've got radii. I know that that side is equal to that side. Why? Because radii are equal in length. Hence, what does that imply? If I've got radii, two radii equal, and I've got a triangle, I can then conclude that this triangle is isosceles. So now I will say OA, OA is equal to OB, radii. Therefore, triangle OAB, OAB, let's just write this A better. Triangle OAB is isosceles. And it being an isosceles triangle implies what? That the base angles are equal. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle B1, isosceles triangle. Therefore, X, which is A, X, which is angle A, is a hundred, using sum of angles of a triangle, is equal to 180 degrees minus 40, minus that 40, 180 minus 40, divided by 2, because these two angles are equal. So it's 180 minus 40, divided by 2. Sum of angles of a triangle, sum of angles of a triangle, equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to, guys, 180 minus 40 is 140. 140 divided by 2 is 70 degrees. So x, guys, is equal to 70 degrees. So we've got this one here to be 40. We got x to be 70. And like I said, the minute you get an answer here, you put it directly into here, onto your diagram. Now we've got alternate angles, guys. These are parallel lines. AB is parallel to DC. AB is parallel to DC. It was given to you. Therefore, angle Y is also equal to 70. The Z shape. The Z shape. These two lines are parallel. So if X is 70, Y must be 70. Alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. So if this is 70 degrees, that is 70 degrees. Okay, guys, we are approaching our, our ad break for, before our last segment. Let's now get to Z. I also said that A, B, P, C is cyclic. A, B, P, C is cyclic. Why? Because A touches circumference, B touches circumference, P touches circumference, C touches circumference. What do we know about the opposite angles of a cyclic quad? Go back to your theorems. The opposite angles, are they equal or are they supplementary? Go and check. Yes, you are right. They are supplementary. So therefore, angle Z is equal to 180 minus 70. And 180 minus 70, 110 degrees. Why did you say that? Because the opposite angles of a cyclic quad of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. They are not equal, they are supplementary. Supplementary means that they add up to 180 degrees. So guys, I hope you took down all these reasonings. I hope you took down the problem and you understood it. When we get back from the break, you'll take a, we're not giving you a rider to do for the next three minutes. Take a bit of a break. Try and process what has just been explained to you. When we get back from the break, we will continue. We'll round up the show with some more hectic riders. Enjoy your break. Mm -hmm. 